Living with type 2 diabetes can be a battle. Walking the tightrope of unstable blood sugar, worrying about long-term complications, or if you've missed something. Of course, a healthy diet, exercise, and sleeping well are the foundations, but here at Diabetics Talk, over the years, we've discovered a few strategies that stand out as mega wins. Things that make life so much easier, like a simple trick to enhance nutrient absorption from foods you probably eat most days, or how to reduce the damage that comes with carbohydrates. So in today's video, we've put together the best of the best, 11 blood sugar hacks that every type 2 diabetic should know. Make sure you subscribe to Diabetics Talk for more practical diabetes information, and click the like button if you find this information useful. Plus, stick around to find out how you can get three free gifts to help you prevent and fight diabetes. Before we get into the technical strategies, one of our viewers shared a gold nugget of wisdom. At Whistlewalk commented, I've been watching your videos for a long time and have been reminded of some things that have slid off the table. That's a great reminder to revisit things that worked in the past. Often it's unpredictable rhythm that can disrupt beneficial routines, leading us to abandon them. Yet these practices were once effective for you personally. So ask yourself, what worked in the past and what might be worth trying again? With that, let's move into the more strategic strategies. Number 11, eat protein or healthy fats before carbohydrates. Firstly, when you eat fats or protein before carbohydrates, they slow the absorption of glucose from the carbs. For a person with type 2 diabetes, this is crucial. Plus, the fats enhance nutrient absorption. For example, a 2005 study found that consuming carrots alongside avocado led to significantly increased absorption of the antioxidant beta carotene compared to eating carrots alone. That's because fat-soluble vitamins such as vitamin A, D, E, and K, along with antioxidants like beta carotene, require fat for absorption. They dissolve in fat, and only then can they be transported through your bloodstream. Moreover, proteins and fats promote a feeling of fullness, potentially leading to reduced calorie intake, which is beneficial for weight management, a key driver of diabetes. Foods high in protein include meats, poultry, fish, eggs, and dairy products, as well as plant-based sources like beans, mushrooms, lentils, tofu, and nuts. Healthy fats can be found in naturally oily foods, such as avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil. And on the protein note, it's worth talking about breakfast. Number 10, reconsider what you eat for breakfast. Choosing your breakfast wisely is crucial. A breakfast heavy in simple carbohydrates, such as cereal, toast, or juice, leads to blood sugar spikes. On the other hand, starting your day with protein stabilizes blood sugar, provides satiety, and fuels more repair and growth for your muscles. Eggs are an excellent choice for a protein-rich breakfast. They are a complete protein, meaning they contain all nine essential amino acids our bodies need. Eggs are also one of the few food sources of choline, a nutrient vital for brain health and strong cell membranes. Greek yogurt is another breakfast favorite due to its protein, calcium, and potential probiotics. Add to that a few tablespoons of chia seeds soaked in water. Research shows that chia seeds significantly enhance insulin sensitivity. A 25 gram serving of chia seeds contains almost eight grams of fiber, promoting better glycemic control. Likewise, ground flax seeds are going to give you even more fiber, as well as omega-3, beneficial linagans, and mucilage gum, which has been shown to block the absorption of sugar. 
In a four-week trial, type 2 diabetics who consumed 10 grams of flaxseed daily experienced a 19% reduction in fasting blood glucose, which is why it's one of the foods that cardiologists recommend people eat daily. We'll discuss another shortly, but first top off your yogurt, chia, and flaxseed with antioxidant rich berries or moderate fruit in a handful of nuts and you've got the ultimate blood sugar friendly breakfast. Number nine, start the day with lemon water. First of all, lemon water is going to flush your kidneys of toxins and excess glucose. Secondly, a 2021 study from the European Journal of Nutrition highlighted the blood sugar regulating benefits of lemon water. In the experiment, participants drank either water or lemon water, then consumed a carb heavy meal. Those who drank lemon water experienced significantly lower blood sugar peaks post meal compared to the plain water group. Furthermore, the plant compounds in lemons have been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and lower the risk of diabetic neuropathy, a condition caused by nerve damage in the eyes and legs, which can lead to amputation or blindness. Beyond its potential in blood sugar management, lemon water serves as an excellent immunity booster and digestive aid, making it an excellent ritual to start the day off right. It's important to note that lemon water can be hard on tooth enamel. To protect your teeth, it's best to drink through a straw and brush your teeth before you drink it rather than after. Are you finding this useful? Hit the like button to help us spread the word and click subscribe to be notified when we release new videos. Number eight, use apple cider vinegar. Adding apple cider vinegar to your salad dressings or a few drops in your lemon water can make a big difference. The main compound in apple cider vinegar is called acetic acid, which studies show can significantly improve insulin sensitivity. ACV also plays a role in weight management, specifically in reducing visceral fat, which is linked to diabetes and heart disease. Human and animal studies indicate that ACV can decrease body weight, BMI, waist circumference, and serum triglyceride levels. Moreover, it contains B vitamins, vitamin E, and beta carotene, which are going to support your eyes, skin, and immunity. Choosing raw, organic ACV that contains the mother is going to boost your beneficial gut bacteria, enhancing your ability to absorb nutrients from other foods. Number seven, go for a walk after lunch. Going for a walk is always beneficial, but timing your stroll can enhance the benefits, especially for blood sugar control. Research indicates that a moderate paced walk lasting just 10 minutes after eating can lower blood glucose levels by 12% more than walking at other times. This post meal activity helps in managing the natural rise in blood sugar following a meal offering a simple and practical strategy to improve glycemic control. Number six, let your allicin activate. When garlic is chopped or crushed, it interacts with oxygen, activating a compound called allicin, which gives garlic its potent health benefits. Allicin is a sulfur containing compound that gives garlic its distinctive aroma and flavor. It's a natural antioxidant with antimicrobial properties and it has been shown to support cardiovascular health, potentially lowering blood pressure and cholesterol levels. By letting chopped garlic sit for five to 10 minutes before cooking, you allow allicin to form and increase. Broccoli has a similar phenomenon, which is a powerful compound called sulforaphane. Similarly, sulforaphane is formed when broccoli is chopped or chewed. Sulforaphane is noted for its anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory properties and is potent inducer of the body's protective enzymes. Experts suggest letting chopped broccoli sit for about 30 minutes to maximize sulforaphane formation. If you make broccoli soup, blend the broccoli before for cooking and let it sit for a little while. Additionally, incorporating a few raw florets into your daily meals is a great habit. Cardiologists tout broccoli as one of the top foods for heart health, so one or two raw florets each day is another easy but powerful life hack. Number five, include some resistance training. 
While walking after meals is fantastic, resistance training is even better. Strong muscles play a crucial role in improving insulin sensitivity and glucose control. Muscles are the main sites where glucose is used, and the more muscle mass you have, the more glucose your body can utilize. It's partially due to mitochondria, the powerhouses in your cells, which are more abundant and efficient in well-trained muscles. Resistance training enhances muscle strength and size, thereby boosting the muscle's capacity to use glucose. This type of exercise includes weightlifting, resistance bands, machine-based strength workouts, as well as bodyweight exercises like push-ups, squats, and yoga. Of course, only exercise to the level that's appropriate for your body. If you don't currently do any resistance training, start out slow. Get professional guidance from a trainer and listen to your body. Before we get to the top four, how about those free gifts? Discover an entire world of diabetes fighting foods with our new book, 10 Incredible Foods That Reduce Blood Sugar. Plus, you'll discover the real reason why type 2 diabetes, obesity, and heart disease are increasing at an alarming rate. And find out what really works when it comes to preventing these illnesses by watching our free diabetes fighting documentary. Plus, get a free recipe book, Amazing Alternatives to Rice, Pasta, and Bread, which contains over 50 delicious and easy to prepare recipes that the whole family will love. These gifts are free and waiting for you to grab them in the description box below. Now back to our video. Number four, test your blood. Testing blood sugar is essential for diabetics because individuals react differently to various foods. Sweet potato is one of the most common examples. Sweet potatoes may cause a blood sugar spike in some people, but not in others. Monitoring your body's response to different foods can reveal which ones stabilize blood sugar and which ones you need to limit. For many people, a few weeks or months of writing down what they eat and how it impacts their blood sugar quickly reveals which foods work for their body and which to avoid. Some people go with regular finger prick testing, however, continuous glucose monitors or CGMs have revolutionized this process, providing real-time glucose readings throughout the day. Number three, eat mindfully. Eating slowly not only enhances digestion, but also allows the hormones that signal fullness to kick in effectively. This can help you avoid overeating and manage post-meal blood sugar spikes more efficiently. Plus, there's the added bonus of truly appreciating your food, which makes every meal a more enjoyable and sensory-rich experience. So savor the moment and enjoy each bite. Number two, limit your eating window. Limiting your eating window, commonly known as intermittent fasting, can be a game changer for blood sugar control and overall health. This could be as simple as eating within a 12 hour window, say from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., reducing the window more if it works for your body. Research suggests a myriad of health benefits, including improved insulin sensitivity, reduced inflammation, and weight loss. Avoiding late night food also aids in better sleep quality and hormone regulation. There are various forms of intermittent fasting. We mentioned a 12 hour window, or you could go for an eight hour eating window, perhaps from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., or even a six hour window, which can intensify these benefits, potentially enhancing cellular repair processes and increasing fat burning. Full day fasts introduce the concept of autophagy, where cells clean out dysfunctional components. This isn't just about calorie restriction, but about giving your body a break to reset, which can lead to improved longevity and health. If you'd like us to make another video on the ins and out of different fasting methods and diabetes, leave a comment below and let us know. And our number one hack for blood sugar, tea is your friend. A plethora of research has shown that teas can improve insulin function, reduce hypertension and heart disease, and many other benefits. In fact, one study found that people who drink two or more cups of tea per day live longer on average than those who don't drink any. 
Tea is abundant in beneficial polyphenols, antioxidants, catechins, and flavonoids, which help in reducing inflammation, enhancing insulin sensitivity. Plus, it doesn't contain sugar, making it an excellent option for those times you don't feel like plain water. Hibiscus tea is a notable option. With a surprisingly sweet and tangy flavor, it makes a great alternative to juice. And of course, green tea is the superstar of medicinal foods, known for its potential role in combating various diseases, including heart disease, certain cancers, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, stroke, obesity, and type 2 diabetes. For a complete list, you might like to watch our other video on nine incredible teas that lower blood sugar and A1C. We hope you found this information useful, and if so, click the like button to help us spread the word, and click the subscribe button to stay up to date with new Diabetics Talk videos. Don't forget to claim your free gifts by clicking the link in the description below or visiting DiabeticsTalk.com. Also, check out exclusive Diabetics Talk merchandise from our store and sign up as a member to get full access to the Food, Health, and You Complete Implementation System documentary and more. We want to keep making informative, research-based videos for you. So if you gained value from this video and would like more of it, you can send us a super thanks by clicking the thanks button at the bottom of the video. We're Diabetics Talk and it's our mission to bring you the best tips and tricks to help you fight diabetes. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a diabetes fighting day.